Hello and welcome. My name is Richie, and today I am going to be forging my first piece of level fifty equipment in Crusaders of Light. So, if we just go over to it here, you can see I've got the blueprint, which is the level fifty ring. Now, I have seen only, I think I've only actually seen one person in the game with it, although there are a few people on this server that do actually have it, I've just not seen them. Um, I got the blueprint from the auction house, I paid around 54,000 gold for it, so I'm not sure if they even still have any in. If I just go into the blueprints a minute and down to the ring, no, you can see that it's completely sold out. There were a couple in there, so luckily I managed to pick one up and get my hands on it. Uh, to forge the ring, it is rather a bit more expensive than usual. So, like I said, the blueprint, I paid 54,000 gold. The ancient iron meteorite, I paid 19,500 gold. Um, and then obviously these mithril ingots, which are really cheap, and then the stones of life, which you can get with your ultras and medals, but I just recently used all my medals as I, uh, as I purchased something else with them. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy them with gold. So if I just buy the additional eight now, then I have 420 gold left, but luckily I'm selling a few things, so once they sell, I will have a good amount of gold back. Um, just before I do, I've got a few of these delicate masks, so I'm just going to use them. I'm just outside of the Winds Talker camp now, which is where you get to use it. Um, claim myself a little gift box. I'm secretly hoping that I do get a little bit of gold from this. Um, normally I get 8.8k, sometimes I do get silver. Uh, we'll see what it brings today. So if I just buy the gift pack and click off of it. What am I going to get? 8.8k gold. So there we go. That's exactly what I wanted and hoped for. Now let's go and forge the ring. Let's see what we get. So I just click on forge. It's going to take me there over to the jewelers. And once we get there, it's just going to run on over and then see what we get from it. I really have no idea what it could even be. I. I'm assuming it's still the whole situation with level 30s for for the legendaries. It was quite hilarious watching my character run like that then. Okay, and it's going in for the forge. What do we get? Okay, so there we go. It does say that, I've re that it does require level 50, so I'm guessing it'll be something that we can use in the future. Luckily... Uh, we did get a uh, an epic, so I can actually just keep reforging it until it becomes better. Uh, let's have a look at what sort of um, price it is to reforge. So only two, only two. Okay, all right. Let's do a bit of reforging then, see what I get. Nope, we definitely don't want that. We want something with a bit of offense, hopefully. God knows if we can. Um, nope, all boring. I will work on this in uh, in my spare time and just make it so that I can really, you know, have a bit of a decent ring here. God knows when I'm going to actually be able to wield it. Hang on, if I just try now. Oh, okay. So there we go, I can actually use it. That's cool. Alrighty, and let's just have a look at it on the equipment. So there we go. Yeah, it's on. Oh, so it's just, yeah, it's, it's because it just requires your talent level to be 50, which, to be fair, my talent level is 55 at the moment. So, brilliant stuff. Um, if we just go on to the rankings, we can have a look on the equipment to see where we are in comparison to other people with the ring at the moment. So, it is the nature ring. Um, okay, so at the moment, it's actually the 18th best ring on the server in terms of the assess rating. Although having just a bit of crit resist and spell resist is really boring. I will just keep reforging until I get some very good offensive stats. So looking at this, what have we got? That person's got a bit of vitality and HP. So yeah, even if I'm getting vitality and HP just so I can boost and survive against things, that would be great. This person's got agility. So I'll just keep reforging until, until I get it where it needs to be. Uh, we can say goodbye to the arcane ring finally. It's been fun.
but you are getting dismantled. Okay, so that sums up this video. I will be releasing a DPS guide this weekend. It's the next one. Uh, the 5k DPS one did really, really well. Um, had lots of good feedback on that with people saying that obviously 5k isn't that high. I can appreciate that, but there are still a lot of people in the game that are struggling to hit that DPS. So um, I think when I release the 5k one, it's just it will go into so much more detail on how you can really get the best out of your player and what you should be going for. It will obviously have a focus on Scout, which is what I am, but there'll be lots of information in the video as well that will help both Mystics and Warriors as well. Anyway, um, like I said, that wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching. There will be a few suggestions across the screen now, which you can check out if you want to. Um, thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. That was a horrible goodbye. No, it's going to have to end here. See ya. <laughs>